Did you ever wanted to transform yourself into a Terminator? Hello everyone, my name is Marko Kozokar, I am an Elite Invata author and in today's video I am going to show you how to make a Terminator photo effect in Photoshop. Don't forget that you can follow along the written version of this tutorial on Invato Tats Plus. If you would like to get even more advanced version of this effect and only using a few clicks, let me show you Invato Elements. Here you can get unlimited downloads of design assets, templates, fonts and so much more. And you can cancel your subscription anytime. For creating the Terminator Photoshop effect with ease, just look for the Cyber Photoshop action. With this action, you simply open your photo, brush over your subject and play the action. The action will do all the work for you, leaving you a fully layered results that you can further customize. There are two Terminator Photoshop actions included, inspired by T800 and T1000 Terminators. You will also find the 60 brushes included and even 50 color looks that you can choose from. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you to subscribe to Invado Touch Plus for more videos like this. Alright, so after you start the Photoshop, go to File, Open, choose your photo and click Open. Now we need to check a few things. First, go to Image, Mode and make sure that your photo is in the RGB color mode 8 bits channel. And you can check the image size from here. For best results your image size should be between 4 and 6 thousand pixels wide or high depending on the size of your subject face in a photo. I drop down the image size just a little bit. Also make sure that your photo is the background layer. So it should be called background and have this little lock icon. And if it's not and you have something like this or anything else just go to layer, new and choose background from layer. Now we need to make a selection of our subject and copy it to a separate layer. Go to Select, Subject to get an automatic selection of the subject. You can choose the Quick Selection tool from here and use the Shift and Alt keys on your keyboard to add or remove areas from the selection. In this case, the automatic subject select option works pretty well, so I'll keep it like this. We are going to apply a few adjustments to the selection. Go to Select, Modify, Smooth, and set the sample radius to 2 pixels. Then go to Select, Modify again, choose Contract, and set the contract by to 1 pixel. And lastly, go to Select, Modify, Feather, and set the feather radius to 1 pixel. Now press Ctrl J on your keyboard to create a new layer using the selection that we have made and name this new layer Subject. Now we are going to create the background for our Terminator effect. Select the background layer, go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Solid Color and name this layer Background Color. Set the color to Black and choose OK. Right click on this layer and choose Blending Options. Select and check the Gradient Overlay effect and use these settings. Then click anywhere inside the canvas and drag to position the light source as you like. Once you position it, choose OK. Now go to File, Place Embedded, choose the texture from the link and click Place. Then transform and position the texture to fit the canvas. Change the blending mode of this layer to Soft Light and name it Background Texture 1. Double click on this layer thumbnail and here in the newly opened window press Ctrl Shift U on your keyboard to desaturate this layer. Then press Ctrl S to save the changes and close this file. Select the background color layer, press Ctrl Shift 10 on your keyboard to create a new layer and name it background texture 2. Press D to reset the swatches, go to filter Render, Clouds. Then press Ctrl T to transform this layer and set the width and height to 200%. Then 
change the blending mode of this layer to divide and drop its opacity to 50%. Now we are going to blend this subject better with the background. So select the subject layer, go to layer, new adjustment layer, black and white, and name this layer subject saturation. Then press Ctrl Alt and G on your keyboard to create a clipping mask, change the blending mode of this layer to color, and set the opacity to 75%. Right click on the subject layer and choose blending options. Select and check the gradient overlay effect and use these settings. Then select and check the drop shadow effect and use these settings. Now control click on the subject layer to make a selection of this layer and go to layer, layer mask, reveal selection to add the layer mask that revealed the selected area of the layer. Set the foreground color to black, choose the brush tool, pick a soft brush, and brush around the subject to soften the edges where needed. We are going to create a terminator face now. Select the subject saturation layer, go to file, open, select the texture from the attachment and choose open. Using the move tool click anywhere inside the canvas and drag this layer to our photo document. Now press Ctrl T on your keyboard to transform and position the texture to suit your subject. You can use any of the options here. And if you open the folder you will see that the eyes and face are separate layers so you can move and transform these layers individually. For the face layer, you will probably want to use the warp option. So press Ctrl T, right click inside this box and choose warp. Then you can just warp the texture to fit the subject. You don't have to be absolutely precise here, but try to match the key parts. Here is my result. Now select the layer mask of the texture layer and press Ctrl I on your keyboard to invert it. Then set the foreground color to white Choose the brush tool and pick a soft brush or any other brush that you want to try. The grunge and scratch brushes will probably work best here. I'm going to use some of the 60 Cyborg brushes that are included with the Cyborg Photoshop action. All you have to do now is to just brush where you want to reveal the texture. Like this. Alright, so here is my result. Right click on this folder and choose blending options. Select and check the bevel and emboss effect and use these settings. Then select and check the inner shadow effect and use these settings. Now select the face layer, go to layer, new adjustment layer, levels, name it face brightness.
and press Ctrl Alt G on your keyboard to create a clipping mask. Then, here in the Properties panel, set the Highlight Output level to 240. We need to remove the subject details now that are overlapping with the texture in the teeth area as it doesn't look realistic. So select the subject saturation layer and press Ctrl Shift and N on your keyboard to create a new layer. Name it Subject Details Removal Set the foreground color to 404040 Choose the brush tool, pick a soft brush and brush over this area. Now we are going to make the final adjustments to the whole effect. Select the Texture folder, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Color Balance, and name it Color Look 1. In the Properties panel, enter these settings. Then, change the opacity of this layer to 75%. Select the Texture folder again, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Curves, name this layer Color Look 2, and use these settings. Now select the Color Look 1 layer, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Levels, name it Overall Brightness, and set the Highlight Input level to 245. Press D on your keyboard to reset the swatches and X to switch them. Then go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Gradient Map, and name this layer Overall Contrast. Change its blending mode to luminosity and set the opacity to 25%. Now go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Vibrance, name it Overall Vibrance and Saturation, and in the Properties panel, set the Vibrance to 20 and Saturation to 10. Press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and D keys on your keyboard to make a screenshot. Go to Filter, Other, High Pass, and set the radius to 2 pixels. Then press Ctrl, Shift, U to desaturate this layer, change its blending mode to Overlay, and name it Overall Sharpening. Here is our final result. I hope you understood everything. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Marco and thank you for watching.